class. What's with the white jacket thing? I don't know. I think all the ribbon part for uh, basically the spread them across. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, the history is watching. For watching. Your children and grandchildren read about this day and what we do. History is watching another assault on freedom. Joining us tonight is Latoya Beasley, a social worker in Birmingham, Alabama. 14 months ago, 14 months ago, she and her husband welcomed a baby girl back to the of IBF. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that second child. The Alabama Supreme Court shut down IBF activities across the state. Unleashed by a Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. That's smart to bring this up. Like she told her dream not to wait. But her family got this should never have happened. Unless Congress acts, it could happen again. So tonight, let's stand up for families like hers. To my friends across the aisle, don't keep this waiting any longer. Um. <laughs> We won in 2022 and 2023, and we won again in 2024. Where's your back to the Wow, he's going out there, you guys, right there. Send me a Congress that supports the right to choose, I promise you. I'll restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land again. You can't do that, right? Yeah, yeah. If they, yeah, do that. You just have a conversation. Wow. Good day. Tonight to show why we need the way forward. Because I know how far we've come. Four years ago next week, before I came to office, the country was hit by the worst pandemic and the worst economic crisis in a century. Remember the fear, record losses, Remember the spikes in crime and the murder rate, raging virus, that took more than one million American lives. The murder rate turned to COVID. Millions left behind. They brought. Now the health crisis, the isolation and loneliness. The president, my predecessor, failed the most basic presidential <laughs> duty. Oh, I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. I've been I think that's unforgivable. Oh. I can't go off and determine the answer. Oh, it's pretty good. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It doesn't make you new, but the news in a thousand cities and towns, the American people are writing the greatest comeback story never told. I'm, I think I'm talking to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go to the prompter B. Where's the helper? Oh, my God. My lifetime has taught me to embrace freedom and democracy. A future based on core values that are defined America. Honesty, decency, dignity, equality. To respect everyone. To give everyone a fair shot. To give hate no safe harbor.